saying things people already know out loud is tight. Avada Kedavra. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey, if you don't stop, I will contact the Usher. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI. Happy Halloween. This is a recommendation from somebody in the comments called Wolfpaw. Great name, by the way. Uh, they suggested the Haunted House and Ouija Board Bruce Drew videos. When I was looking it up, it looks like there's three parts to the Haunted Duplex series, I guess we'll call it. And then there's like a fourth one as well. So we're going to have a look at the entire Haunted Duplex Bruce Drew saga today for Halloween. Get comfortable, everyone, because we've got four videos to get through. Thank you for all the support, everyone. Don't forget to leave a super thanks in the comments if you want to support the channel a little bit further. Or you can just subscribe. Are we at 10,000 yet? If not, subscribe. If we are, also do that anyway, because why would I tell you not to do it? But let's check out the Haunted Duplex Ouija board. All right, since uh, Halloween's in pissing distance right now, I figured I'd tell a uh, spooky story. Spooky Bruce Sue story. Ooh, scary. Ooh. This story's about a uh, haunted <laughs> duplex that I used to live in. I know what you're saying. A haunted duplex? That sounds like a shitty Goosebumps book, for Christ's sake. Everybody <laughs> knows that there's no such thing as ghosts or demons or Puerto Rican people, but whatever. This really happened, believe it or don't. It's a true story. So one night, I'm farting around with a Ouija board. Now, if you don't know what a Ouija board is, it's basically a board game that lets mm. children talk to the devil. No big deal, whatever. So that night, it was me. <laughs> it's crazy because it is a board game. It was made by Parker Brothers. <laughs> That's the origin of the Ouija board is for retail and entertainment purposes. <laughs> My roommate, his girlfriend, and Cody. Cody was drunk at the time. Not important to the story. Just figured I'd mention he was a little shitty that night. So we're okay. sitting there, and we're asking <laughs> questions out loud, trying to uh, conjure some spirits that would want to talk to some punk-ass 19-year-olds. Hey, uh, any dead things out there want to talk to us? We can make pizza rolls. And after a few questions, this little plastic periscope thingy starts to move around the board. And I'm like, what the hell is this shit? Cody, stop moving the goddamn periscope thing, you drunk idiot. I'm not moving it. <laughs> Kiss my ass. One of you guys are moving the damn thing, okay? You can't trick me. I have a public school education, goddammit. I'm not dumb. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll try to trick him here. Throw him a curveball. All right there, devil ghost. How about you name a dead relative of mine that nobody here would know about? Well, I'll be damned if this thing didn't spell out the name Laverne. That that's my dead great-grandma. My butthole uh -oh. tightens up. None of these dummies know who my great-grandma is. And it's not as if Laverne is a goddamn common name that somebody would just toss out there as a guess. <laughs> There's like two people in the history of the world named Laverne. One of them is Shirley's best friend, and the other one's my dead great-grandma. Okay, guys. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, have you ever been the shit cunt who was making the the thing move around the board? Let me know. Now's a good time for you to tell me that you're dicking around with me. I'm starting to freak out. I try to play it off. So, uh, what's your name there, Mr. Ghost? Mrs. Ghost? Gender neutral ghost? I don't know what you are. <laughs> the thing spells out S-H-U-T-U-P. Shut up. Uh, rude. This is my house you're in, goat. Bit terrifying, but go on. Cody, you live in a duplex. It's half a house that uh, poor people live in. Okay, thank you, Cody. This is my duplex. Ghost, what's your name? Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. I'm a grown man, ghost. I'm the king of this castle. Duplex. Shut the fuck up, Cody. <laughs> At this point, I'm kind of freaking out. Uh, let's play Monopoly or some shit. This is creeping me out. And just then, three out of the four people there heard a noise come from somewhere in the hallway. And it sounded like a growl. Something like... <laughs> well, maybe not like that. That sounds like a, somebody trying to hold back a sneeze. It was a growl of some sort. A little bit more frightening. <laughs> no, and that wasn't that either. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a growl. God, that was... The scariest growl that I can picture right now is this. <laughs> is Hitchcock in their house? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. I heard it too. You guys want to get Taco Bell? Shut the hell up, Cody. God damn it. There's a demon gargoyle or some shit in the house and you're worried about a cheesy gordita crunch. No, dude, a chalupa. Shut the hell up. Do you not understand the situation here? We have opened up a portal to hell. Ghosts, demons, and Puerto Ricans are real, god damn it. So we investigate the hallway like a uh, shitty Scooby-Doo gang. Nothing. There's nothing in there. All right everybody i think that's enough of the ouija board tonight y'all are assholes thanks for the demon ghosts mm. a few hours later i'm laying in bed absolutely terrified it's like five or six in the morning <laughs> just starting to get a little light outside i'm staring up at the ceiling and i'm finally about to fall asleep when all of a sudden mm. Goddamn black shadow darts across my ceiling. Oh, I didn't see that. That must have been my imagination. Definitely wasn't a demon shadow prancing around here <laughs> and just when i thought that the light in my bedroom goes on 
I do a goddamn back handspring off my bed like an Olympian, run out of my room, and start pounding on my roommate's door like a huge wuss. There's a demon in the house! Wake your ass up! And he wakes up from a dead ass sleep, total. <laughs> Can I just say, the Limp Biscuit poster on the wall makes that hilarious. But, uh, yeah, if I was in that situation, I'd be waking my roommate up and be like, alright, if shit goes down, there's two of us that's seen it. Get the hell up and help me right now. <laughs> Really delirious. And I'll never forget it. He raises his head up and he's like, Hello? Hello? What are you, answering a goddamn phone call? Get your ass out here! I sat out on the porch for a good two hours that morning until it was nice and bright outside because demons can't eat your soul in the daylight, according to exactly. me, a sudden expert in demonology. Now, this night was just the tip of the iceberg of all the crazy shit that happened in that duplex. We lived there for another year, and I'm telling you right now, it only got worse. And if you guys like this story, maybe I'll make another one making a little mini series haunted duplex part two back with a vengeance <laughs> so the lesson i want you to take from this video it's pretty simple don't be screwing around with ouija boards i don't care if it's made by hasbro and you can pick one up at toys r us <laughs> you see a ouija board you fucking chuck that thing in a river like it's the goddamn jumanji game <laughs> Ah, uh, the Jumanji reference at the end, yes, very accurate. Okay, alright, yeah, I don't think I've ever actually used a Ouija, I feel like I have somewhere. I, I, I don't remember where it was or in what context, but I'm sure I've been present or involved in a Ouija board thing at some point before. But alright, let's get on to the next one. What happens next when the demon ghost comes back with a vengeance? Alright, Haunted Duplex, part two, back with a vengeance. God, what a shitty movie poster that would be. <laughs> I can't wait to see this one! The first one was so good! Alright, let's re- Ricky Lake the movie? What's going on there? Four dummies in a dining room, tempting the devil with a Ouija board. My dead great-grandma makes a cameo and shows up. <laughs> I'm dead! Some shadow demon crawls across my ceiling, makes me piss myself, and Cody didn't get Taco Bell that night. Ah, damn it! Okay, cool, we got it. So a few weeks go by, and nothing creepy happens, so the whole Ouija board night starts to become practically a joke to us. If anything goes missing in the house. It's the ghost's fault. The ghost did it. Where'd the toilet paper go? Goddamn ghost! But what would happen soon after were a number of things that I like to call the incidents. And they would happen randomly every couple of weeks. <laughs> Incident number one. <laughs> I love... This is very clearly something that this person... I, obviously, he experienced this. Everybody experienced it. I love the fact he's able to catalog it so specifically because that just lends so much more credibility to the story of like, oh, no, no, there's no questions to be left about this. Let me tell you about incident number one. <laughs> like, I love how confident this storytelling is. The hay incident. So I'm laying in bed one night. My ex-girlfriend's hey. there too. We're talking about something. I don't really remember what. Let's just say it was about her being a selfish asshole. How about that? It's like three in the morning. Everything's turned off in the house. Brewer, my roommate, he's down the hall sleeping with his door closed. He's got his dog in there sleeping too. That's really what the dog looks like. It's furry as hell. So we're laying there. And we're about to fall asleep when all of a sudden, right next to my head, I hear something say, hey. And it was very distinct. So distinct that we both heard it. Did you just hear somebody say, hey? Yeah, I sure did. Dude. Now, it's one thing to hear some <laughs> shit by yourself, because you can always play it off like, Oh, it's probably just the house settling. Maybe it's the pipes in the walls making noises. Pipes can make noises that sound like human words, right? Hey, how's it going? What's up? <laughs> but when you're with somebody else that hears it too, what are you supposed to do then? i tell you what you do then. Your mind goes totally blank, and there's a brick of shit in your pants. Okay, I don't know what that was all about, but uh, let's sleep with the lights on, huh? How about that? Incident number two. Christmas time shenanigans. That's what we're calling okay. it. Okay, whatever. So there I am. I swear I've heard, like, singular words, like, happen before. It's usually when I'm falling asleep, so my guess is that it's just a part of my sleep, you know, like, exactly like what he said, but I, I feel like I've experienced that. A few weeks later, and I'm laying in my bed, and I'm trying to go to sleep. Brewer's in his room, door closed, he's been sleeping for probably a couple hours. So I'm laying there, and all of a sudden, I can hear a noise coming from the bathroom. Someone, or something, is screwing around with something in there. It's making a noise that sounds like this. So naturally, I try to be logical about the situation. Oh my god, there's probably a demon in there rummaging through all our shit, <laughs> probably eating all our Tylenol, and yes. squeezing out all the toothpaste. Now I'm pretty scared at this point, because I'm a big wuss, you know? Instead of going in there to figure things out, I just lay there and listen to this damn noise, and it just keeps going on and on. Finally, I figure it out. 
It's that goddamn flippy thingy that you pull up on bathtubs to make the shower head come on. Something's in there fornicating with that thing in my bathroom, and I really don't appreciate it at this hour in the night. And then all of a sudden it stops. All right, cool, perfect. Now I can pretend this never happened and go back to sleep. And that's when something slams up against my door. Talk about being scared. It was poop city in my what? pants. I couldn't even form words with my mouth. Hubba, 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 hubba. Somehow, in my panic, I grab my phone and I call my roommate. You know, he's 12 feet down the hallway, yes, but I'm gonna good call idea. him on my phone. Hello? Oh yeah, you get it right this time, asshole. Good job. <laughs> Hello indeed. Something just slammed up against my door. I'm freaking out. Did you hear something messing around with the thingy that turns the shower on? Thingy that turns the shower on? The faucet? No, no, the other thing. Uh, the handles? No, the damn thing that makes the shower go. Water pressure? Jesus Christ, forget <laughs> it. Yeah, Brewer, water pressure. That makes a noise, right? Guess what time it is? Sleeping with the lights on time, my favorite. I eventually go back to sleep, somehow. And a few hours later, my roommate wakes up to his dog throwing up. You know that unmistakable, shitty sound dogs make when they're about to yeah. barf all over the place? <laughs> <laughs> You hear that shit from the other room, and you're like, oh no, Barfarama time! And the countdown's on, you gotta shuffle your dog outside before he pukes all over your PlayStation 2. So his dog throws up all over, and he has to clean it up at ass o'clock in the morning. He's in the kitchen, and he's... My cat vomited on my phone charger cable the other day. Not on the, like, end of it, luckily, just, like, on the cord. But I was like, dude, really? Just gonna vomit on my charger cable? Come on. Washing his hands. Now, according to his testimony, he says he heard someone say, What are you doing? From somewhere towards the living room. He looks over, and he sees this goddamn black shadow peeking around the Christmas tree. Now, his first thought is, Holy piss, there's somebody in the house. <laughs> Get out of here, you little pervert! He goes running into the living room. <laughs> this is where I wake up. I have no idea what's going on. I'm thinking we're getting raided. Ah, what's going on? <laughs> is it the Russians? He gets out there. There's nothing there. I walk out there to see what all the hubbub is about. Dude, I just seen a black shadow from behind the Christmas tree. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look who's seeing shadow people now. It's behind the Christmas tree, huh? You sure it wasn't the, uh, the Grinch? Huh? He's stealing all our presents? I don't know, Brewer. Sounds a lot like the Grinch. Yeah, it's not funny when it happens to your ass now, is it? We're sitting on the couch like, okay, well, what do we do now? We either A, have a severe gas leak in the house and we're hallucinating, or B, we did bring a ghost in the house thanks to that goddamn Ouija it's board. I'm pretty grandma. sure it was B. Now, after this whole little fiasco, things only got worse. It got to the point where we're like, oh, okay, yeah, this place is haunted. We should probably get the hell out of this godforsaken duplex before one of us gets possessed and we end up doing a backwards crab walk down the stairs like the exorcist. <laughs> but for the final chapter in this uh, mini saga, you're gonna have to wait till next week. That's right, we're talking haunted duplex part three. Now it's personal. Okay, whatever. Now it's personal. Ooh, man, that's intense. Um, I don't know if I've ever lived in a haunted house. The house I'm living in right now looks like it should be haunted. It's from like the 70s and there's like a whole downstairs area that we don't use that's quite creepy. Um, but I don't think I've ever like had any experiences here. Uh, before I lived, before I was born, my parents were living in this place that apparently, um, yeah, uh, lights would just start swinging out of nowhere for no reason doors would close things like that they could have just had a breeze going through i guess from the sounds of that but i don't know i, I have faith that my parents know the difference between a breeze and um a, a ghost and they seem to be very convinced that there was something off about that house so i don't know it's it, it's one of those weird things you would think that if ghosts exist there would be photos of it by now there's camera phones and footage everywhere and anytime there's footage there's always some question about it why is the quality so bad why is it only from this angle why is it why is nobody else catch that like there's always kind of a uh, questions around it so it's probably bullshit but i don't know you never know you never know but let's have a look at haunted duplex part three now it's personal. How's it gonna get personal? Give it to me. Give it to me, Bruce, dude. All right, Haunted Duplex, part three. Now, it's personal. Uh, I don't know about this one. The first one was good, but the second one was kind of crappy. All right. Why do you use a lowercase l for that fun? Dining room, bastardizing a Ouija board. We hear a growl come from the hallway. Uh, Gazunheit, bless you. Some ghost keeps whispering shit to me like we're in a movie theater. Hey, stop hogging all the juju bees, you <laughs> dick. And then Brewer tried to fight a ghost for trying to steal all our Christmas presents. Okay, cool, got it. Incident right. number three, dream ghosts. 
Okay, it's nighttime. Right. Me and the rehab version of Lindsay Lohan are sleeping. Now I'm knocked out. I've probably been sleeping for a couple hours at this point. I start having this very peculiar, very realistic dream. Cue the dream sequence. Ooh, look at that animation. Look out, Pixar Studios. I'm coming for you. <laughs> now, in this dream, I'm standing in the middle of my room. And I look over, and I can see myself laying there sleeping. Oh, my God. I'm dreaming right now. Look at me. God damn it, I'm a handsome man. Then I look over to the corner of my room, and there's goddamn Captain Howdy himself, Mr. Black Shadow. Goddamn mm -hmm. thing is practically a roommate at this point. I see it every goddamn week. So there it is, just hanging out, just uh, loitering in the corner of my bedroom. Now, as soon as I see this thing, I start to panic like hardcore panic like somebody mm -hmm. trying to barge in the bathroom while you're taking a poop type of panic i've literally never been this scared of anything in my life it's a goddamn black cloud for christ's sake i could suck that thing up with a vacuum all ghostbusters like no big <laughs> deal but staring at this thing for whatever reason it's about to give me an anxiety attack i'm trying to scream but since i'm so scared it's coming out like bah, bah. i sound like a befuddled hank hill bah. god damn it bobby it's not a bad <laughs> hank hill right it's passable and I'm not just... That was a good Hank Hill. Whoa! God damn it, Bobby. It's not a bad Hank Hill, right? It's passable. Oh, god damn it, Bobby. No, no, no. That's, I don't know who that was. Uh, what's, what's Hank Hill sound like? I uh, sell so propane and propane accessories. I, <laughs> my, why does my Hank Hill sound like Charles Barkley? LeBron needs to pass the ball to Anthony Davis down on the block more often. <laughs> like, I... Are they the same character? I don't know. Never thought about it. And I'm not just screaming in my dream. I'm doing it in real life. My ex-girlfriend wakes up. She's thinking I'm being possessed by the devil. Oh, no. Wake up, damn it. She's like UFC punching me in the head. And for like 15 <laughs> seconds, I can't wake <laughs> up. <laughs> I, love, I love how much shade he's throwing at his ex-girlfriend in this video. It's full-on sleep paralysis. And I can't take my eyes off of Pazuzu, the demon over there, making me feel like a little wussy girl in a little wussy pink dress. And then finally, I snap out of it. Oh, piss! What am I, having night terrors now? I'm not a goddamn Vietnam War veteran. I shouldn't be yelling <laughs> my sleep like there's Charlie in the trees. I'm trying to explain myself that this damn ghost was inside my head. I need to file a goddamn paranormal restraining order against it. Now, this whole thing would happen a few more times. I'm dreaming that I'm in my house, black shadows in the corner of the room, Hank Hill scream. Whoa! But there's one <laughs> night in particular that stands out among the rest. Incident number four. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> um, dude, that would be, that would be genuinely terrifying. Having a, like an out of body dream, like in the actual room that you're in, like, oh man, that's, that's unsettling. Get out of my dreams and into my duplex. Get out of my dreams and into my duplex now this right here hands down is the most scared i've ever been in my entire life all right it's the middle of the night like always can never happen during <laughs> the daytime the where it's on? nice and light out and safe no it's dark time everybody's sleeping in the house including myself all of a sudden i'm standing in my room again watching myself sleep oh crap here we go again but guess what i look in the corner no pervert shadow standing there what a relief okay maybe this is gonna be a good dream seems like i don't have any of those anymore it's either a demon ghost trying to eat my soul or or Harry and Marv are trying to break into my house. So in this dream, I walk out into the dining room and I can see out into the living room and the lights on. All right, maybe everything's gonna be all right after all. Nope, I don't think so. The light flickers out in the living room. Oh crap, there's that damn black shadow Fuck. coming right for me. Time to panic. Oh, oh god, oh my god. The only thing I can think to do is try to turn on the dining room light. My actual arm is up in the air. I'm in bed, pantomiming, turning on the dining room light. It's my dream, this thing's getting bigger and bigger. It's morphing. Where's the goddamn Megazord when you need it? Oh piss, oh piss, <laughs> ah! ah! What? the hell was that all about? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Holy shit. And right at this point is when things got a little too real. Because it was right at this point we heard footsteps walking in the dining room back out to the living room. Both of us heard it as clear as day. They were footsteps that sounded like they had claws on them. Or some shit. Like a goddamn giant Doverman walking on two feet. That's what, what? it sounds like. Clop, 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 cl
clop, clop, clop. If it was Poop City in my pants before, this must have been Poop Universe. I get my phone out again. Hello? Dude, if you want to have a rematch for our Christmas presents, I'm pretty sure that thing is in the living room, and I'm pretty sure it'll beat your ass silly. I couldn't turn enough lights on in my room. I got my head pressed to the door like a man Frank. Now, this was the last paranormal occurrence that's ever happened to me. We moved out of that duplex shortly after that. We took that Ouija board, and we sent it with Brewer's girlfriend. Let her deal with all the demons. <laughs> Now, all that was seven years ago. And if you don't believe any of this, I really can't blame you. If I was the one watching this crap hole of an animation, I probably wouldn't believe it either. Oh, Bruce, dude, that really didn't happen. You're smoking crack. No, I wasn't smoking crack. I couldn't even afford it back then, all right? Was... <laughs> Bruce Drew, I believe you. I can tell by how specific this story is that this definitely happened, and I appreciate it. Dude, that really didn't happen. You're smoking crack. No, I wasn't smoking crack. I couldn't even afford it back then, all right? I was living on a budget, a very strict budget. <laughs> like I said, believe it or don't. Was it a ghost? Was it a demon? Was I smoking crack? I don't know. Sorry that this wasn't like the end of a Scooby-Doo episode. Oh, it was Mr. Jenkins the whole time. <laughs> I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you and your stupid furry puking dog. But I do want you to take a few things away from this little stupid miniseries. Number one, Ouija boy are bad news. Play Boggle or some other shit, okay? It's far more rewarding. Number two, if you hear a noise in the middle of the night, it's probably the devil. Don't second guess yourself. And finally, <laughs> number three, the most important, get your drunk ass friend some Taco Bell if he's hungry. Whole goddamn situation could have been avoided if we would have got Cody his goddamn cheesy gordita crunch. Chalupa. <laughs> That does make me feel like uh, eating Taco Bell. We finally got Taco Bell in Australia, by the way. I, I like it. It's pretty good. Man, that's that's terrifying, man. That really is. Like, those recurring dreams, like, in your own house, that is... Yeah, man, that's worrisome. I, I would... I'd struggle in that situation. If I kept having those kind of recurring dreams, I think I would have an issue with that. But there's one more haunted duplex video. This one's just called The Box Fan. So I don't know if this is from the same duplex or if this is a uh, different duplex that he lives in. Get a standalone house, Bruce. You a, lot of, you a bit more privacy. It's, it's good. Less ghosts. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's have a look at the haunted duplex, The Box Fan. All right, Haunted Duplex, the prequel. The beginning, before the beginning. All right, so to start out, this okay. story didn't really take place in my Haunted Duplex. It technically took place in the house I lived in before. Oh, you clickbait little bastard. But it was my first paranormal experience <laughs> that happened to me, and it took place when I was seven years old. Now, I have an older sister named Danielle, and on one particular night, she had her friend Amanda stay the night. So it's the middle of the night. My sister and her friend are laying down about to go to sleep. Meanwhile, my seven-year-old ass is knocked out in my room, probably dreaming about Harry and Marv stealing all my Pokemon cards. Now it's the summer, so my sister has a box fan in her room because our broke asses didn't have central air. And while they're laying there trying to go to sleep, the fan keeps turning off by itself. Amanda, you dipwad, stop screwing with the fan. I'm not doing anything. It's doing it by itself. Now again, I wasn't there for this. I was in my room fending off the wet bandits with paint cans and shit, but according to my sister's testimonial, she said the fan started to shake violently. Well, that's not what box fans are supposed to do, so it freaked them the hell out. My sister's Start screaming like the goddamn fan's gonna chop her head off. Her screaming wakes me up. Ah, get away from my Charizard, Marv! My dad runs into her room. What's going on? Is the house on fire? Somebody grab all the photo albums! No, it's my fan! It's possessed by the devil! My dad looks over. The fan's purring like a kitten. No problems whatsoever. What are you talking about? I just bought that thing like six months ago. It's fine. I'm not crazy. I know what I've seen. I think. It was something like wrapped around, because if it clicked off and then started shaking, that kind of sounds like there's something maybe wrapped around like where the, the blades are and it kind of got taut or something, but that doesn't make any sense why that would just randomly happen out of the blue. It was shaking like a goddamn chihuahua. Yeah, well, I think you guys are smoking <laughs> crack. There's nothing wrong with that fan. What do you think, Amanda? Huh? You been, uh, you been experimenting with some crack rock lately? You guys don't need to be screaming at the top of your lungs like the goddamn Backstreet Boys are in town. Good night. So now they're a little apprehensive, but they think, you know what, maybe we were smoking crack. Maybe there isn't a demon in the box fan after all. And they go back to sleep. Well, sure as shit, the next morning rolls around and that fan starts turning off by itself again. I think it's trying to communicate with us. Are you a dead person? <laughs> 
Oh my god, I fucking knew it. My mom walks into the room. You guys want some toaster strudels? Never mind the fucking toaster strudels, mom. There's a demon in my fan, and it's trying to talk to us. Now, my mom's pretty gullible. She sees the fan turn off, and she's like, Oh my god, they're right. Kenny, get up here with some Bible. What's going this on box here? fan is haunted. Yeah, what the fuck ever. Let me know when the walls start bleeding. You guys are out of your mind. So that's when I walk <laughs> into the room to see what all the commotion's about. What the hell's going on in here? And why the hell were you screaming last night like the goddamn Backstreet Boys were in town? There's a demon in the fan, and it's trying to talk to us. So there I am, watching my mom, who's an adult, and my sister, who's almost an adult, talk to a box fan that my dad bought from Sears. Are you an evil spirit? I think if it turns off, that means yes. And if it stays on, um, that also means yes. Now, I'm not buying it. Even my seven-year-old brain's like, uh, that fan's broken. It's not haunted. You guys are smoking crack. Can we go eat some goddamn toaster strudels now? But they keep asking the questions. Are you going to hurt any of us? What really? kind of stupid-ass question is that, Danielle? It's a goddamn box fan. What's a good... I got questions about Bruce Do's mum. I, I want to meet her now after hearing that she was trying to communicate with a box fan. <laughs> what do? Thank you for joining us at 13 o'clock news. This just in, a whole family was massacred late last night in their home. We have Dan Peterson at the scene. Dan, what do you have for us? Well, Tom, it's pretty fucked up. It appears a box fan from Sears got possessed by the devil and chopped everybody's heads off. Back to you, Tom. But as soon as my sister asked that question, the fan just cuts off completely. Now this is where shit gets a little real. There's a jewelry box sitting on my sister's dresser and this thing just flies off and damn near hits me in the forehead. Now, needless to say, it startled the hell what? out of me. But I look over and I see my mom, my sister, and her friend all trying to squeeze their asses through the bedroom door at the same time like some kind of Scooby-Doo cartoon. <laughs> Never mind the fucking seven-year-old boy sitting on the floor. There's a goddamn poltergeist in the house. It's every man for himself. They run out to the living room to get my dad. Get that fan out of this house. Now it's starting to throw shit at us. At this point, my dad's just sick of dealing with it, so he takes the fan <laughs> and he puts it out in the garage. That's right, a brand new box fan that was just bought from Sears is going in the garage now because my mom... Keeping it on the property, though. All right. The day my sister's going around the house trying to talk to that evil spirit still. Are you in the toaster? Toast the strudel if you're in the toaster. But nothing ever happened while that fan stayed in the garage. Probably still in this garage to this day. But as a bonus, when my sister's friend was walking home from our house that day, a little tree branch fell right in front of her. And she was so freaked the fuck out that she sprinted all the way back to our house. Oh my god, the fan tried to kill me with a giant tree branch. All right, that's it, Amanda. I'm calling your mom. You need to be enrolled in a rehab program because I'm sick to death of your goddamn crap. Crack rock story. That was an amazing um, saga of haunted stories. Wow. Yeah, that duplex. Fuck that. I would not enjoy that. I, and it's hard to even explain why some of these things happen. Like, for example, like I got a whole bunch of action figures, and every now and then one will just fall off the, the shelf randomly. But it's usually because. Um, like it, the weather is warming up, which makes like some of the plastic feel a little bit less um, taut, and that can sometimes happen. It's a pretty well-known thing among co collector communities that when summer rolls around, you know, make sure you, your shelves are all you know balanced perfectly. So, but these didn't really have any kind of real explanation. The growl, the the voices in the um, in the duplex, the the thing flying across the room with no explanation, like. What is going on with that? And the thing is, like, what kind of person would make that up? And then, clearly this guy's got enough hilarious stuff to do, like, to talk, to talk about from his own life. Why would you just need to make up bullshit like that? It's very, very, it's a very curious subject, like paranormal and ghosts and stuff like that. But let me know in the comments, have you had any paranormal experiences in your life? Um, yeah, nah, I really don't, I really can't think of any any situation that was like that nothing thank christ because i'd be shitting myself if i had like if i felt that i had like definitive proof that ghosts exist i would be shitting myself all the time and i'm not so looks like it's a win for me but let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this one thanks again to wolf paw for this uh suggestion this is fantastic thank you very much happy halloween everyone and as always be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace